fall was really cozy and, and bohemian, you know, and I felt I didn't want to lose that. But what haven't I offered her? Because this woman is the same woman, but what haven't I offered her, you know, to, to actually propel this, this history? Starting with knitwear again was the idea. So how can I make the knitwear now play with the same, the same concept and make it really luxurious or make it really glamorous, you know, much more of New York instead of a weekend. The, the silhouettes, for instance, you know, uh, the bohemian, you know, part of the collection that you saw for fall has been introduced into the collection, but in a much more technical way, in a much more softer way, in a much more beautiful way, in a sense, because it's spring, you know, with the sheer and the opaque, you know, and all the engineered fluted skirts and also the engin engineered flared skirts. So the silhouette's still there, but here she just layered mm -hmm. over the tank top, the short tops, you know, over it, and she became more playful. I mean, how gorgeous did those girls look? And seven feet tall. I loved how how long and languid the silhouette was. The designers seem to really be into the easiness of, of knits and um, you know, sort of unstructured feeling. And you know, because they're so finely made, you look quite pulled together. But I think you still feel comfortable. And I think that that's probably. I mean, it's something that I like the idea of. I think they're probably pretty easy to wear to work while you're sitting at your computer all day, compared to a tailored suit, which has that sort of constricting factor. The textures and the fabrications, I thought, were very, you know, pushed further, slightly. They're all very sleek. They all have a shimmer to them. You know, um, you know, making this, you know, the silhouette a little more modern, a little more, you know, delicious and interesting. Well, I think it is a very, very personal, creative show. Francisco, it's really a designer, designer. He really designed the clothes and worked really on the fabrics, the fabrication, the technology, and it experiments. And uh, it's different from uh, any other or many of the other American designers because he's really a creator in that sense. Not somebody that is just doing clothes or just like uh, thinking about what is the trend, what's the idea, what is the theme. There is not a theme, there is like a really a concept, an idea, I think it starts from the fabrics and then from there it evolves into a silhouette and a, a world, I mean it is his world. It's really a celebration of, of this woman, the woman spirit, you know what I mean? I was very inspired by the Andy Warhol paintings, you know, the Mao pictures, you know, in all shades of blues and blues and blues and always you see the red, you know? And then looking at that time, you know, Tina Charles did have that kind of beauty, the red lips, you know. So it's how to do the red lips, how to celebrate that part, the femininity, but in our way. The lacquered red, the red, uh, perforated, but then again, it's all hand punched and, and, and layered over. So it's um, very, very beautiful. But I want to be, this woman be, you know, she's empowered. I love that she's on a heel, you know, we've been doing the flats, you know, for a while, we've been doing like the low heels. So here, elevating it just feels fresh, feels new. She still have the spirit of this New York City. She's strong, feminine, expensive. So in essence, she's a very powerful, she's a very New York inspired woman. She also resembles that Tina Chow you know, moment, you know, on the 70s, you know, what everything is just glamorous, celebratory of a woman and some sort of freedom.